What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video on how I style my new short hair. I just recently cut off 13 inches of hair. It's still hard for me to believe sometimes because for the last 20 years or more, I've had long hair. So this was a huge deal for me. I'm loving it so far. I wanna show you guys how I style it. It's this really grungy, textured look where you can go from one side to the other and it looks cool, you know? So if you guys wanna see how I style my new short hair, keep on watching. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So this hair right now, I just washed this morning. I typically prefer to wash my hair at night and sleep on it when it's wet. I find that it gives it a little bit more wave and volume. In the morning, it looks a little messy, but it is a nice base for when you add curls on top of it because it already kind of has that big voluminous messy look anyway so i prefer to do it that way for this video i did just wash my hair in the morning a couple hours ago and it has air dried i at all cost try to avoid a blow dryer one i don't really have a good one and two i feel like it's just unnecessary heat it is still a little bit damp underneath but i'm gonna go ahead and just start working with it the hairstyle that i like for short hair is sort of messy pc choppy looking edgy hair the last thing I want is mom hair, so perfectly, you know, symmetrical, nice wave. That's the last thing I want. So the products that I'm using, I have some shampoo. This is just Tresemme. I have Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo, a wide tooth comb, and my curling iron. This is just a Hot Tools, like, one inch, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and just start by adding some curls to my hair. This is just going to be, like, I don't section off my hair. This is supposed to be just, like, a quick out-the-door cute hairstyle. I'm going to start in the back, just picking up sections about that big, and we're just going to wrap around the barrel. This is pretty much what I'm going to do all around my head. And if you can see, I like to leave out at least an inch and a half at the end. This is going to just give me the bend look. I don't want like a spiral curl. And I'm just picking up random pieces because my hair is slightly wavy underneath. So I mostly focus my curls on the top layer of my hair where it's the straightest. So again, make sure to leave out about an inch. This is this is like the probably sloppiest hairstyle ever, but it's what I like. So let me just show you how the hair looks once you take it down. It literally just has this curl here and then the ends are sort of straight. I did this sort of hairstyle when I had long hair also, but with short hair, it's so much better and easier. And I like to curl the hair away from my face. If some of your curls start to look like a little spirally, it's okay. Um, because I'm going to sort of like comb through it at the end to tame that down a little bit. The top layer too, it's like Sometimes I want to have this part, sometimes I want to have this part all in the same day. So it kind of doesn't matter which way you curl like your front bangs. I mean, for me at least, because I switch, it's supposed to be messy, it's supposed to look, you know, kind of like you just rolled out of bed. Just probably do a few more pieces. And then for the bangs, I'm gonna go ahead and curl this way. Okay, so that's all the curling that I'm gonna do for now. That took eight minutes. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is finger through the hair. I'll probably come back to the bang a little bit later, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and move on. So I'm gonna take my Volumizing Joy Shampoo. This I'm going to be applying to the roots to add volume. So I'm gonna start on this side. And spray it on there. Just let it sit for a second. Then I'm going in here and just like kind of fluffing it through the roots. Just to get it nice and in there. Now do the other side. Bless you, boy. I'm gonna also do the back. In addition to the roots, I'm gonna take the dry shampoo and just kind of spray it throughout the hair. This just really helps give it texture. So I'm just kind of splitting the hair and then spraying a little in there. Marco, go! This is making him sneeze and he's like sitting right here on my lap. So I'm just using my fingers to really get that shampoo nice and in there, adding texture to my hair. Next, I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb. And I, like to do, I did this trick when I had long hair also. This is gonna just give me more volume. So first I'm gonna take a little piece right here, get my comb and just tease upward. Back to the bang, I'm gonna take this and also tease this so that it has like a big fluffy vibe. So you'll just wanna like tease through it with your fingers, with your comb until you get it how you want. Add more dry shampoo if you want. Final step is obviously hairspray. Once you have it how you like, just go ahead and mist. Some people don't like to use hairspray. I do just cause I just do. Not too much because like I said, my hair is clean. Even though I want it to look sort of grungy, I don't wanna have too much stickiness going on. And I actually do carry this brush around with me, so like throughout the day, if I feel my hair starts to look a little flat, just pull out the comb. We're back in business. All right guys, so that's it. Literally looking at my camera right now, I've been filming for 15 minutes. So this hairstyle took 15 minutes. One of my favorite things about having this haircut is it takes such little time to make it look really cute, you know? So I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. I really appreciate your support. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my hair tutorial today. Also, I mentioned on my Snapchat when I was cutting my hair, it just gave, it was really empowering because I made the decision. I had control over this huge deal. You know, women in our hair, it's like a major deal. So the fact that I made the decision to just go ahead and do it, it was very empowering. And I let go of all my fears and just went for it. 
So if you're thinking about, con if you're contemplating cutting your hair or doing anything, you know, that you're scared, you might be scared of doing, I say just do it, go for it. Life is short and we need to make the most out of life while we're here. So that's going to complete this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.